Hello, my name is Seema Ahuja, and I'm a teacher development specialist in the secondary science and curriculum department. I would like to welcome you all to HISD at Home TV. Today we will explore the summer school science lesson for week two. These plans can also be found on HISD at Home TV website. Last week, you learned about plant cell and an animal cell. This is your second week to the introduction class of biology. So let's begin with our eighth grade science lesson for this week. For this week, we will focus on a learning target, biology 6A, which is identify the components of DNA identify and describe how information for specifying the traits of an organism is carried in the DNA, and examine scientific explanation for the origin of DNA. In other words, you will build a molecule of DNA from a set of components. You're gonna observe how nitrogenous base is born to form the central rungs of the DNA molecule. In order to master our objectives, and our understandings, we will complete the gizmo activities activity on this. Now, before we get started on the gizmo activity, uh, you need your laptop or a cell phone and also a science notebook or any notebook you have at home. So go grab your cell phone or a laptop and something to write with. All right, at this time, I would like you to examine this image of the DNA molecule. What does a DNA molecule look like to you? Go ahead and answer this in your science notebook. What does the DNA molecule look like? What's the shape of it? All right, if you said the shape is twisted letter, then good job, yes. The shape of the DNA molecule is twisted ladder, or it's also called double helix. Excellent. So remember the word double helix. What is DNA? DNA stands for deoxyribose nucleic acid. The double helix structure of the DNA molecule is one of the greatest wonders of the natural world. The rungs of this twisted ladder contain a set of instructions for building any living thing on earth. So now let's look at, again, the shape is double helix or it's called twisted ladder. The rungs are the steps of the ladder that stores the genetic information. Now, at this time, you are going, we're gonna write down some answers to these guiding questions using the sentence stems. So go ahead in your notebook, you will answer these two questions. Where in the DNA molecule do you think the genetic information is stored? You are going to use the sentence stem. I think the genetic information is stored. Go ahead and complete the sentence. And I'll pause for like a few seconds. All right, let's look at number two. What makes up the rungs of DNA? I think the rungs of DNA are made of, go ahead and complete the whole sentence. If you know the answer, good, but do not worry if you do not know the answers because we will revisit the answers at the end of our session. Now let's go to the gizmos to investigate our guiding questions. In order to do that, you are going to go to the hub, you're gonna click on digital resources and then gizmos under science. So if you look here, you're gonna go right here, you see the science and you're gonna see this icon of gizmos and you're gonna click on gizmos and you're gonna say find gizmos. The gizmo you're gonna try to find is building DNA. That's the gizmo, that's the name of the activity we're gonna work on today. You're gonna download the student exploration sheet building DNA. So now I'm gonna walk you to all the steps 
at this time? How are you going to download that document and how are you going to um, perform the activity? So we're going to work together on this activity. All right. So when you go uh, download, when you go to the gizmos from the digital resources and you're going to find gizmos right there and you're going to type in building DNA, it takes you to this page. You're gonna launch Gizmos. Before you launch Gizmos, I want you to download Word, Word document of this student exploration sheet, not the PDF, but the Word version of it. So I'm gonna click on Word version of it. Just save it on your computer, anywhere on a desktop or a document, just save it right there because you'll be needing that later. All right. So we're going to launch the gizmos. And right there, we're going to construct a DNA model. This is the nucleus. You can click show nucleus or you can unclick that. So definitely, I would like you to have a nucleus there because DNA resides in the nucleus. DNA never leaves the nucleus. So DNA is always found inside the nucleus. So what you're gonna do is, we're gonna construct our DNA model. You're gonna drag nucleoside from the right-hand side here. So I want you to pay attention to these two components, nucleosides and phosphates, because that's how we're gonna build our DNA molecule. Nucleosides, we're gonna drag somewhere here. I want you to pay close attention to this. Nucleosides are made of, right here, what does this shape look like to you? So this is deoxyribose sugar. Think about gingerbread house, sugar. So that looks like a gingerbread house. So sugar, and then in the middle is a nitrogenous base. You're gonna grab a phosphate molecule and you're gonna attach it to the sugar. Now we're gonna grab another nucleoside. It's not gonna attach until we have a phosphate molecule attached to it. So let's, let's start over. You have to have the fast phosphate molecule. All right, we're gonna start over. So we're gonna grab this. We're gonna have the phosphate molecule attached right there. You can grab any nucleoside you want and now you can attach it there. Grab another phosphate molecule and build and complete the left side of the DNA molecule. Like it does not matter which one you grab, you can grab any nucleoside you want. And you're going to keep building this until you complete the left hand side. And when you complete the left hand side, it looks like this. So once you complete the left hand side, you are going to match the complementary nucleoside and join them with the phosphates to build the right side of the DNA molecule. All right, let me tell you what I'm talking about. So now in order to do that, you have to think about the complementary basis of A. A stands for adenosine. Now, what is A gonna bond with? Let's try A bonding with A. Do you think A is gonna bond with A? No. A is not going to bond with A. So we have to memorize what does the A, what does A bond with? A is going to bond with C, apple on a tree. You can memorize this apple on a tree. Let's grab another T and apple on a tree or AT at or ATNT. There are so many ways you can memorize that A always bonds with a T in a DNA molecule. Now, the next nitrogenous base we see is a G, guanine. Let's say guanine is gonna bond with G, is going to bond with, let's try with a G. You think G is gonna bond with a G? No. So G is going to bond with a C. And the way you're gonna memorize this is car in a garage, car in a garage. So let's grab another A and tell me, where is this gonna go? C or T, remember apple on a tree. 
Yes, good job. Apple on a tree. Good job. A goes with a T. And G goes with a car in a garage. Excellent. So you're going to complete doing this. You're going to grab the phosphate molecule and you're going to join them right there. Only then it completes the whole DNA. So you're gonna keep doing this until you make all of them, complete the whole DNA molecule. So again, G goes with a C, car in a garage, car in a garage. A goes with a T, apple on a tree. Car in a garage. All right, so once you've finished doing, building up or constructing your DNA molecule, now we will learn how to take a picture of this so that you can paste this picture in your Word document to complete your student exploration sheet. So you're gonna click on this little camera right here. You're gonna right click you're gonna copy image. You're gonna open up your Word document. You're gonna click on enab enable editing. Now question number on activity A, question number two tells you take a picture. Click the camera to take a snapshot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna paste your picture right here. And you can adjust a little bit. You can make it a little bit smaller. And that's it. That's how you are going to paste a picture. You can paste it in any document, any Word document you want. All right. So we just learned how to construct a DNA model. And we also learned how to take a picture and how to paste the picture in the Word document. So you're gonna complete now rest of the document. So let, let me walk you over from the rest of the document. All right, so these are the two pages you're gonna complete. The first page, most of the questions we have already an answered or are answering as we're going, uh, going along the PowerPoint and the activity, so if these questions are not difficult, you'll be able to answer them. And we will go over a few questions from activity A together, and you will finish the rest, complete your exploration sheet, and turn into your teacher for a grade. All right, so this is the completed DNA molecule looks like. And this is the document where we pasted the picture. I'm just showing you so that you can remember the steps. All right, so we are going to go over question number one. What does the question number one say? It says, follow the steps given in the gizmos to construct your molecule of DNA. And then when, when you finish the DNA molecule is complete, in the space at right, you're gonna draw. So remember, this is the molecule. So all you have to do is you have to draw the left-hand side of the DNA and the right-hand side of the DNA molecule right here. That's how you're gonna answer question number one. Question number two says, take a picture. And we just learned how to take a picture and how to paste the picture there. So that's question number two. Let's go over question number three. What makes up the sides of the DNA molecule? Now you remember, this part right here, the sides of the DNA molecule. So you remember what is it made of? What is this blue little circle called? And what is this gingerbread house? If you said phosphate and deoxyribose sugar, good job. That is correct. So phosphates and deoxyribose sugar. That's how the sides, both sides are made up of. So if you look at this picture, or you can go back and look at the picture, phosphates and deoxyribose sugar. These are the phosphate, that's the deoxyribose sugar. Gingerbread house. What makes up the rungs of the DNA molecule? The rungs, remember, 
the rungs are the steps of the ladder. So what are they made of? All these colored four nitrogenous bases you saw in the middle. What are they called? They are made of? Come on, you can answer this. Yes, they are made up of nitrogenous bases. So what makes up the rungs? Pair of nitrogenous bases. Remember we say pair because A bonds with T and C bonds with G. All right, let's look at the next question. Write the name of the nitrogenous bases that joins to the base below. All righty, A, adenine, joins to, come on, now you can answer this. Do you remember apple, apple on a tree? Excellent, yes, A is going to bond with T. And C joins to, do you remember car in a, Garage, excellent. C bonds with G. Again, thymine joins to? Correct, apple on a tree. And guanine, G, car in a garage, excellent. So you're gonna practice, you're gonna again complete this, the left side of the DNA molecule is shown and you have to draw the complementary right side of the DNA molecule. You can go back to your picture or just remember that A bonds with a T and C bonds with a G, and then you can exactly draw the sides, nucleoside like this, and you're gonna turn it into your teacher. All right. All right, so now we are going to go over our guiding questions one more time. At this time, I want you to look at your notebook. Remember you answered these questions in the beginning? So go ahead and now check your answers. Where in the DNA molecule do you think the genetic information is stored? Now, if you think you, have a, you know the answer and you have some other answer on it, go ahead and fix it. But let's go over it together on, for this answer. Using the sentence stem, you're going to say, I think the genetic information is stored in a nucleus. Excellent. Let's look at number two. What makes up the rungs of DNA? I think the rungs of DNA are made of, remember rungs are the steps of a ladder. They are made of pair of nitrogenous bases. Excellent, good job. Okay, students, we are coming to the end of our time today. So we need to summarize our learning. I would like for you to take a moment, turn and talk to someone closer to you, and you will explain them in complete sentences using the words or pictures below. So share what you learned today. The words are DNA, what you learned about DNA. So you are gonna talk to them or you're gonna say, or you're gonna explain, I learned that DNA, you can complete the sentence. You can say anything DNA, is found in the nucleus. DNA stores the genetic information or whatever you learned. Complete the sentence. Same thing, you're gonna use the word nucleus and you're gonna explain that to somebody next to you. And then nitrogenous basis, you're gonna tell them A bonds with what and C bonds with what. And then you're gonna look at this picture what does this picture tells you? So you are going to explain them everything you can tell about this picture. All right, so don't forget that you must complete your student exploration sheet. This page one and page two, which is activity A, you must complete all the questions 
and turn it, in, turn it in to your teacher for a grade. All right, I hope you enjoyed constructing and learning about a DNA model. Remember, all these plans can also be found on the HISD at Home TV website. Also, please tune in next week to learn about the next week's lesson. Until next time, I'm Seema Ahuja, Teacher Development Specialist in the Secondary Science and Curriculum Department. Keep learning and stay safe. Thank you for watching HISD at Home TV.